next to Spain, where a right-wing opposition leader has lost a second attempt to become the country's new prime minister. Alberto Nunez Feijo failed to pass a key vote in Parliament on Thursday, and then again this afternoon. The vote sets in motion a two-month countdown to new elections, unless outgoing Socialist Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez can garner sufficient support to keep his job as PM. Let's cross to our correspondent in Madrid, Sarah Morris. Uh, Sarah, what can you tell us about this uh, vote this afternoon? Well, the Conservative leader, Alberto Núñez Feijó, has lost the vote. Uh, that was always expected, uh, but uh, it was one small surprise that there was 172 voted for uh, Mr Feijó versus 177. After one Catalan separatist uh, made a mistake in his vote, he voted yes to Mr Feijó and uh, then had his vote uh, disqualified uh, when he wanted to change it uh, to no. Otherwise, this was not a surprise. It was always going to be a mission impossible. Mr. Feijo managed to get uh, the support of the far-right party Vox. He also uh, managed to get uh, two smaller parties uh, to back him. Uh, but the separatist uh, regional parties uh, that held the balance of power and still continue to hold it, uh, they see that they've got more to gain uh, from backing uh, the continuation of the uh, socialist MP, socialist prime minister, uh, Pedro Sanchez, with his far left uh, allies, uh, Sumar. Well, so Sarah, is there still a path for Pedro Sanchez to hold on to the premiership? I mean, what happens next? Well, Pedro Sanchez has continued to tell everybody that there will be another government, uh, that he will be able to keep the socialists and the left-wing party, Suma in power, that he will do a deal uh, with the Catalan separatists. Uh, however, uh, what we saw this week was that he didn't even want to step up uh, to argue against uh, Feijó. He let uh, that job fall to an ordinary uh, socialist MP. He seems to, for the not, for the moment, he doesn't want to talk about the price that he'll have to pay uh, to the uh, to deliver uh, the support of the Catalan separatist party. And uh, Feijo attacked him for that, basically saying this week uh, that Carlos Puigdemont, the former uh, Catalan president who declared independence of the northeastern region and then fled to Belgium, that he holds the power in his hands and that essentially uh, Mr Sanchez will deliver him an amnesty uh, for everybody who spent public money on that uh, independence uh, bid, uh, but that uh, Sanchez will not be spelling out the terms of that amnesty, which is still being negotiated. Uh, we know uh, that uh, last night uh, the Socialist Party uh, put out a statement in which it seemed to say uh, that they would draw the line at delivering a referendum on whether Catalonia should break away uh, from the rest of Spain. And that is what uh, Puigdemont in Belgium is also calling for, calling for amnesty and a referendum. We don't know if that will be a price uh, that Pedro Sanchez wants to pay. If he doesn't and if he can't form a government, uh, then the clock is now ticking. Two months, uh, if nobody can form a government, uh, there will be a repeat election, uh, probably uh, for mid-January.